Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 103 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements. G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got Ian Ostelo, who's a bit of a new addition to Real Action. Simon Pender has been on the show before with some spectacular Mako shark vision from southern New South Wales. You never know, we might even find one of those today. Oh, let's hope not. Let's we're, hope. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, we're chasing. it's going to eat our tuna. And we're back down in the southern part of New South Wales. We're in about 500 fathoms. It's uh, way over the shelf, and we're looking for those fantastic fish, those great big yellowfin. I know you've been catching them, Ian certainly caught a couple. Uh, throwing topwater lures around. We're going to start trolling some big soft plastics and see if we can't find a bit of action. Uh, we've got uh, tide change around lunchtime. Yep. We've got moon set. We've got... Yeah, looking good. Maybe this afternoon the wind's going to back out a little. Should be, uh, should be a good afternoon if we can find a bit of surface action. Yeah. I'll I, I tell you what, I'm glad we're in the big boat. We're in the 7.6 today, the big 7600. It's blowing a bit. It was about a three metre swell yesterday. That's backing off and uh, things are looking pretty good. All right. We're on autopilot, you better go and drive, big dog. Jeez, yep. <laughs> Still a bit of swell, just waiting for, uh, for that wind to back off a little bit later on. It'll be really, really nice. We've got two laws out, got them a long way back. So Simon and Ian do a fair bit of uh, chasing yellowfin at times. As I said before, they've caught some really big ones. We've got one law right back. Uh, if you had outriggers, you could put them in there, but, but I haven't got them fitted to this boat this time around, and one in a little bit closer. So it's just important to stagger those laws. You don't want them side by side, because if you turn, they're likely to get crossed over. So we've got a longer set one, and another one a little bit closer. And just looking around, there's albatrosses and all sorts of uh, marine birds here at the moment, all having a look like us. So we're just going to keep trucking around. We've got about 17 degrees where we are here as far as water temperature goes. So we'll keep an eye on the sound and we want to try and find that merging of the warmer and the cooler water. And hopefully that's where the yellowfin are going to be. We're just standing up high here and I just saw a big bust up. We've still got the lures trolling out, but we really want to... Oh, here you go, here you go. Sarah, go, go, go. Out here. Really want to catch one on top Go, 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 cast, cast, water. cast. And... So I'll fire one out there. There's one there, that's what a yellowfin looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, missed him. Missed him? <laughs> missed him? Yeah, missed him. Oh, really? <laughs> that was car special. That was a bit of madness right there. There was um, souries, which are like a big long garfish sort of bait fish that, that, uh, that are out in this deep water. They were jumping. I was up standing up on the gunnel nice and high there, and I saw this big explosion and then uh, Simon just missed one, didn't you, at the back of the boat on the top water lure. So we cranked the soft plastics in and uh, it was just mayhem. So hopefully that's going to be the start of something that's going to get even better today. But wow, that was, yeah, I was, was excited. Nice, nice. <laughs> it could have been a nice start if that fish had found the lure, but he just missed. But um, I'll keep looking around this area, I hope they come back yeah, up. It's looking good at the moment. Oh boy. I think we've had a bite there, lads. <laughs> a little nibble. <laughs> Oh, you love that sound. Wow. That, is just, that has just been eaten. We've moved up the track a little bit further. I'm going to say up the track a little bit further north. So uh, Ian and Simon have got some mates out here today. And that's always a great thing when you're game fishing is to stay in contact with the other guys. And there's a bit going on up here. And uh, we're definitely out of bite. So let's see what this is. They're talking bluefin as well. We're, we're chasing yellowfin. I've got to tell you, I'd love to see a bluefin tuna. All right, boys. Marine Rescue New South Wales has more than 3,000 volunteers to help keep you safe on the water. You can log on with your local Marine Rescue base when you're heading out. You can call them back to check your marine radio is working. Best of all, they'll come to your rescue if you break down or worse. It costs a lot to provide this world-class service, so make sure you support your local volunteers whenever you get the chance. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water.
the go. I'm getting dressed. It's a little bit, uh, bit late in the day to get dressed, though. Just makes it a little bit easier. One there. Oh. A little easier on the arms. Gotta relax now. It's all about using your legs. People think about uh, when game fishing, it's, it's this sort of wind you fish up over the rollers, but you bend your knees, that lifts the rod tip, you stand up and you wind the slack. And it's a really simple technique, and I've got to tell you, it works really well. And it's not, I've had, I've had mates come out who are six foot five, wheat farmers from out west, and they're nearly crying catching <laughs> whale and things because they point the rod right at them. But if you use your legs, I've got to say, I reckon the female anglers yeah. of the world are the best game fishermen because they don't try and, they've got the body mass. So it's all about technique. Technique. Hey, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Getting into him. I'm puffing. Ian's doing a good job driving, and it's such a team sport, game fishing, isn't it? So. Yeah, mate. I'm just keeping the uh, boat in gear and keep you on that wind side. So. Perfect. Don't blow over and you found blow us. Over a, you found us a fish, mate. So I'll give you <laughs> the big high five for that one. So that's the main thing. But uh, now the guess is what it is. Yeah. And we're running. We were running those two rods as we said earlier, and this was the one that was right back. Yeah. So the fish has already got a lot of line in the water. So this is a 24 kilo stand up outfit, the big 50 size gold reel and some 24 kilo game line. This, this uh, real bright colour is awesome, it's like a laser pointer. So the good thing there is Ian driving knows exactly where the, where the line is, where the fish is, whether it's a tuna like this or a billfish. Is uh, it far away I guess? Oh, probably 30 metres maybe. There's a lot of fishing techniques and species that you target that just require specialist gear to really do it properly. And you can see the outfit we've got here, but this, this big gold reels, lever drag, got amazing smooth drags right through the range. Also a big push button reel. So if it was a really big bluefin, I can actually gear it down so I can change gears. Not many reels on the market where you can change gears like you would in a car, but you can do that with these. Coming up a bit there yeah, now, Yeah, good Luke. angle good on angle that. angle there, boys. We might be getting close here. Yeah. Guess we just got him about 40 metres down on the sounder there. Right on, mate. So I've got a bit of work to do, is what you're saying. Absolutely. <laughs> job's not done yet. Oh, it's a pretty rough old trip on the way out this morning and just poked along at about 15 knots, but it's quite pleasant when you get out here. It's really important to, to make sure you check that weather report out before you head out. And uh, don't take any risks. I know it'd be awesome to catch a big tuna like this, but you've got to pick your weather windows even in a big boat like this, you've got to get that weather right. Oh, he's a good fish. He's a bit bigger than 40 kilos, lads. <laughs> Boy, got the leader there. That's a big bluefin tuna right there. You got the leader. Right, I'll just go back on the drag a bit, Simon. Yeah. In gear there. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah, baby, look at that. That's a magnificent looking fish. Nice barrel shape. I'll oh, just, awesome stuff. I reckon we might be able to lift him up and let him go, you reckon? Yeah, we could probably do something. All right. Lift him from the Mate, I'm going to just unhook, and I'm just going to back a little bit of line off, and I'll pop it over here. On. It's still got a tiny bit of drag on it. Yep, so if you've got to let him go, you can. Yeah. Bit more line out. All right. And I'll take this off. Let's go stick a tag in him. How you going, boys? Getting that tag in? So he's got tagging him now, so if anyone ever catches him, you know where he comes from, we're going to try on. Right, let's see if we can get this fella up and have a quick look at him, eh? Hold up the tail, ready, set, go! Oh. 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 Bit of a sliding esky. You guys got him? Quickly. Yeah, I got him. I just got to move this. <laughs> go, boys! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that! There we go. What a cracking southern bluefin tuna. That is an absolute awesome fish. Check that out. How oh, cool. Stuff, eh? Good stuff. PB for you? Uh, that, absolutely PB for me. Let's spear right, this thing back in. Get him going. Yep. You ready? Get him going. Big one, boys. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, baby. Yes. All right. Awesome. Oh, and that is one team effort right there. Good driving, son. Thank you. I don't Thanks. thought. I don't think I went too bad with the old tennis elbow on the wine. Uh, good, good, young, mate. <laughs> good leadering. Wow. Good awesome job. stuff. Awesome scene from off. So, 
trolling for yellowfin or bluefin tuna in this part of the world, what what are you thinking speed-wise? We've got those big soft plastics. You can troll skirts, you can troll hard bodies. Uh, eight knots, ten knots? Eight, eight to ten knots. Generally marlin, you know, eight knots. But yeah, tuna can go a little bit quicker, so... Because they the move ten. so damn fast, don't yeah, they? Like, we saw some bust-ups there earlier, and there's a bust-up, and then and suddenly they're 100 metres away. So they you've got to sort of travel a little bit quicker to try and oh, catch up with them. It's not like we've got an issue with speed. We've got 250 V8 on the back. We can go anywhere fast. But to try and get your lure, if you're doing that trolling, or put yourself in a position with that big stick bait rod to get that cast into the fray. That's what we're really trying to achieve. Absolutely, yeah. Try and get in front of those fish and uh, yep. put that lure in front of them. And I think the important thing there too, if you see them and they pop up there and there, don't cast where they were. You nearly got to try and work out where they're going, haven't Anticipate you? Anticipate where they're going, where they're traveling. And if their sour is jumping, they'll give you a bit of an idea. Yeah, so the bait fish is jumping, try and get in front of that fray. Absolutely. Oh, fingers crossed we see that happen. Do you got that lure in? Yeah, yep. still out. Still out. Oh, blowing up oh, out here. How far? Oh, 200 metres out. Oh, yes! Oh! oh! Is it on? Yeah, we've got the fish on. Yeah. You got him on? Yep, got him on. That's a good fish, too. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're away. Okay. Oh, oh, my lord. Oh, as I live and breathe, that was stupid. What I just saw then, that was insane. That massive bluefin tuna, mouth open and come crashing out of the water, eat that stick bait. That was crazy. Hey, just for everyone at home, Simon, like I caught my fish on a, on a short game rod, big gold reel. Why are you using such a long rod? Why a spin reel? Tell everyone at home the difference. I know, but I want you to tell everyone at home. <laughs> so we're, we're basically casting top water lures at these fish. They're up feeding on souries on the surface. So we want to make sure we can replicate that and obviously got to cast as far as we can. So eight foot rods and spin reels is the, <laughs> the caper. Is the go, but uh, the shorter rod's probably a bit easier on the body, so you're really copping a bit on the fight when you're coming back in, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Keep coming around, yeah. We'll go come around on the right a little bit there. All right. Got a good bit of angle on this fish. Let's get organised. Now Simon's been fighting this fish for about 10, 12 minutes, I reckon. <laughs> Feels like an hour. <laughs> Feels like an hour. Big difference between monofilament or nylon and braid. So no stretching the braid. So everything that fish does is, is getting telegraphed back to the rod. So, so Simon gets to furl all of it. Well, I cheated a bit with the nylon. It's a little bit softer. So that's right. He's a bit younger than me too, this bloke. So, um, but it's amazing. So whether you're chasing a snapper on soft plastics or a flat edit or in the shallows or a bass in a creek, that, that's what, what polyethylene line does without that stretch. It lets you really feel what's going on with the fight. And looks like there's plenty happening at the moment. <laughs> the arms are burning. <laughs> Got him down there at about 75, 70 metres there, Simon. Yeah. So fatigue's a big thing when, you, when you're game fishing. Um, you got any tips for anyone home, Simon, about fighting a big fish like this? So it's, it's important to take your rest when you can, isn't it? Especially on these top water rods with no harness, no gimbal generally. Straight forearm is a big key. Like the minute you're trying to bend your arm over, you're just gonna, gonna yeah, you get in the world it. of pain, try and keep you straight back. Use your legs to lift the rod and yeah, rest when you can and, and get line when you can. Get line when you can, that's the secret, isn't it? Work the angles, if you can get the fish to come high in the water, it's a lot easier on your body. <laughs> keep coming around, Dan. Yeah. Need to go around, need to go around, mate. He's yeah. coming under the boat, going under the boat, going under the boat. Here he comes. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Simon Pender. We've got on the leader. Mate, go and, forward. And Oh, and touched. That's a capture Beautiful right there. Fish. Look at that thing. That is, woo, woo. well done, brother. Top water belief in. Oh, that's a cracker. Look at that. I reckon we can get a tag in this fish, maybe. I, I reckon we can. I can probably hold it there right for a minute. There. Yep. All Just right. in gear. We're in gear. The bales open on that reel. I'll get a tag. We in gear. You getting that, Dom, or what? Hey, steady in gear there. Slow, slow, slow. 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 He's gone. Oh, there he goes. That's pull, all right. Pull the leader. That's all right. <laughs> He didn't wear a tag, but yeah. he's alright. Good stuff. <laughs> what a fish, and he swam off perfectly. Oh, that's the go. That's the way to catch him. Mate, that is the way to do it. Sensational. Just had the, yeah. the lure in the corner of its mouth. Come down here, Ian. <laughs> that is sensational stuff. Mate, you've got to be worn out. Oh, mate, I'm knackered. I'm on the wheel now. <laughs> mate, we're, we're talking about it, and um, you know, this type of fishing, at times, you're going to have to take a fish home and keep it. Yeah. Uh, I know some people seem to think it's okay to catch a truckload of them. You know, if we had to, we would dispatch that fish and we would look after them. We've got so much ice with it. 
but it is so cool not to have to do that. The only thing we didn't get in that fish was a tag. It was probably too big to lift in, but I've got to tell you, you got a pretty cool look at it there. That's a big bluefin and probably your PB on top water. PB on top water for sure. Estimated weight, 65 kilos. 65, kilo. yeah, 65 or a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, Push so trying nice to get the 70, we reckon. Yeah, we, well, we could call him 70. Fisherman tiles, we'll call him 70. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> now your turn, I reckon. Right. We'll go and test them elbows out, eh? All right, let's say, uh, yeah, I've, I, we've marked fish down deeper. We might, what we might do, while we have some lunch, why don't we mark on a couple of those fish? We'll drop the electric motor down, and I've got some metal jigs there, and we can try and jig one up. That'd be a cool way yeah, to do it, too. Definitely. All right. Sounds like a fun stuff. It's pretty easy to see why we're throwing, casting a stick bait like that. Look at that, that is the perfect size. So this is, oh, it's got a bit of blood off that on there. <laughs> That's what we call a souri, which really just looks like a garfish on steroids, this thing, isn't it? Doesn't Definitely. it really? They say match the hatch. Match the hatch. Can't get much closer than that, and that's why these are so effective at the moment with no, all this bait around. So that's come out of a tuna's mouth um, and just got spat out. So we, we actually grabbed hold and we thought we'd show you when we got a chance. We actually forgot about it. We're sitting down there for a little while. All right, mate, so we've got a really cool pattern set out at the moment. We've got that soft plastic. We've actually got a skirt on that one, and we've got these casting lures ready to go. Late in the day, you promised me a yellowfin. You haven't delivered yet. What I am going to do is I'm going to give Ian a spell from driving. I'm going to go in and have a bit of a drive myself and see if I can't so you find, find one. one here, I, well, I couldn't find one earlier, so I <laughs> found some, some of their cousins, the bluefin. But, <laughs> but you did say it could be a late bite for a yellowfin. Yeah, we'll, well let's we'll hope we can find a couple we'll before the sun right. goes down. We'll race the sun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Going, mate? We're on, yeah, we're on. Yeah. Woo. Woo. That's the go. It's a good one. I reckon that's a good bit of driving there, Ian. Hey? That was a great bit of driving. <laughs> Late in the afternoon. You I did. That might have been a fish we just spotted out there. <laughs> and I love it when, when the weather forecast actually turns out like they said it was going to be. It's always <laughs> nice when they say it's improving yeah. and you get to the afternoon yeah. and you can have a nice run home. Yeah, because yeah, we're in the, in, in the big girl today and, and it was still a pretty slow, ordinary trip out and it's just done exactly what they said. But remember that with your weather forecast, can be up to can be up to 40% yes. different, so be careful. Always yeah. check two or three different platforms for We, the, uh, we looked forecast. at 17 different weather forecasts, and, and then and then you pick the one that's that you like best. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah. those lighter winds look better. We'll go with, we'll go with that, we'll that's go the one that. it is. All right, that's a good angle there, Guesty. Just working this nice angle on the fish. Just uh, walk, walk away from the fish when he's got like this, we're getting line back easy. There's no point in getting on top of him and putting that fish back down. So if you're getting line, just keep doing what you're doing. Just turned his head. That's good. Keep going around, yep. that's hey, good. Keep, keep, keep turning, yeah, yeah keep, keep turning, turning there. that's good. Happy Look, there. He's just change the direction. There he is, right there. He's just here, got the double here. Got the double. Oh. Go oh. right, go right, guess. Right hand down, right hand down. Yeah, you're right, mate, go around yep. at that. Yep, keep going around. That's good, guesty. That's a nice, nice yellowfin. You're right, lads. Beautiful, beautiful yellowfin. Right up. <laughs> yes, How's boys. That? Got the nice one we were chasing this wow. morning. <laughs> We've got a yellow fin. Nice so it's been blue fin, blue fin, and now a yellow fin. Oh, hey, bud, there's your fish, Hein. Eh? Oh, beautiful. What a cracker. Look at that. Woo! Check that out. That's Just, a uh, great fish. That is a great fish. Just uh, tell us a little bit about the difference between yellowfin and southern bluefin tuna, which is what we've caught so far. Well, I got one, and I know you got a cracker. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop seeing that top water bite. How cool was that? Oh, that was that just was amazing. Wicked. Now we're going to work out which one's more valuable. So, did the big bluefin win the day, or did the yellowfin oh. win the day? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking forward, and we are going to keep this fish. We did mention that. Hold that up, show everyone at home, guys. What a cracker that is, and and the, the difference over these yellow sickles, obviously yellowfin tuna, and these bright yellow. Little, uh, I guess you call what do you call those? A lower flute, dorsal, so dorsal like flute, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful looking fish. That's just amazing. All the muscle. I tell you, that's been a pretty damn good day fishing southern New South Wales with you boys. It was worth the drive down. There's no doubt about that. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page to get you hooked up every week. We're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome scan strut rock wireless phone charger and inflatable waist belts from BLA, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated.
Check that out. That's a magnificent yellowfin tuna. Uh, you've been watching Real Action. Michael Guest, Ian Ossolo. He's pretty happy with that one, I think. <laughs> Simon Pender, we've had a cracking time fishing southern New South Wales. Bluefin tuna. These were on the menu to start with, but they finished the day off. I can tell you that was fantastic. Thanks, lads. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Real Action brought to you by Dog Pro Plus. Look after your best mate with a complete and balanced diet. Hyundai high performance forklifts, smart technology, and safety, they're the driver's choice.